joining us live tonight, Florida Republican Congressman Ted Yoho. Thank you so much for joining hey, us. We really appreciate it. Hey, I read your article so and you were you're... spot on, and I'm glad for you to bring that out and go that direction. And, 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 and likewise, I, I think that w your move last week with your colleagues was, was spot on. But what I really want to do is, is not so much go back over the who did what and focus on the, on the question, which is what's going to happen next? I think people watching tonight are so frustrated that, as I said, all the energy is on one side of this. What's actually going to happen? There's so much suspicion now of the behavior of the FBI and so on. You have put your referral in. What happens to that? Well, you're right. The American people are fed up. They want justice. You know, when people go above the law or they think they're above the law, they're frustrated. And there's no, no, no I'm, you can tell why the American people are so frustrated because nothing gets done, done up there in this investigation. What I propose or what I would uh, uh, conjecture here is it's going to move forward. And I think you're going to see this web go back to Comey, McCabe, uh, the other people, Ms. Clinton, Loretta Lynch, and possibly President Obama. OK, but is anything going to happen? I mean, we, we can all agree with each other about how terrible it is. But what's going to happen? You've got this incredible investigation going on into President Trump and, 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 and his world. What about the other side? What's going to actually happen? Well, I think what you're going to see, as this letter stated out, uh, it was very succinct and very detailed on the charges uh, for Ms. Clinton, for um, uh, Mr. Comey, uh, Andrew McCabe, and I think you're going to see this go into an investigation. We're going to keep the pressure up. The American people are going to keep the pressure up on us, you know, the representatives of the but, People's House. Okay, well, and sorry so to cut, I think you're going to see this move forward. What's that? What, what gives you that confidence? What gives you the confidence that it will, in your words, move into an investigation? Who's going to start it? Well, I think Who's the biggest thing is the, the, the biggest thing is the right thing to do. It's like you said, it's been one sided. You no, know, I get James all that. I'm sorry to press you on. I'm sorry, Congressman, yeah. I'm sorry to pr press you on it and to cut you off. So I don't want to waste time on you know, agreeing with each other. The real question I'm interested in is uh, who's going to make this investigation actually happen? Whose well, job it, is it? It's referred to. Well, it's going to go from the House. Uh, Paul Ryan will move forward, or you know, the uh, Judiciary Committee, and then the Intelligence Committee, and then the AG ultimately will decide to do this, or Rod Rodenstein uh, uh, to move forward on this. And this is where it needs to go. I mean, it really does. So the responsibility. So the the only way this happens is if is if the Attorney General makes it happen. Is that what you're saying? Right. I mean, it's got to move forward through him. And, uh, you know, we I know the letters are out there. We're talking to him. Uh, there's people that are talking to him to move this forward. Like you said, the American people are fed up with this and we need to go down this path. But so what, what's the if you like the, the, the official role of your letter? Is it just is it basically just a press release that, that adds to the conversation no. but doesn't move anything forward? No, I know Ron DeSantis. Uh, he's like I am and the people that sign that. We don't do things for press release. This is something that has to mm -hmm. be done. Uh, when you got people that, if you go back to the, um, the investigation on uh, Donald Trump with the Russian probe, that should never have happened because that was based on false allegations on the Steele dossier that was all concocted through the Hillary Clinton campaign and Fusion One. Um, and then the first FISA warrant, maybe that could have been signed, but those other three should never have been signed. Therefore, that investigation should never have happened. It's time to bring that investigation to a close and then go after the perpetrators that uh, mm -hmm. concocted that stuff and, and lied to the to the committees. It's it's already documented that they did lie to the committees. So those are the ones that need to be followed and, we're, and let that rabbit trail go where it will. I mean, that's really what has to happen. And our goal is to make sure those things happen. We hear it in our districts every time we come back. When is somebody in Washington yeah. going to be held accountable? And we're going to make sure that does. And it, it, we just keep pressure on them. Good. I think that's that. I, I understand that it's not your actual. It's not within your power uh, or your colleagues to initiate the investigation. But I think the, you've set it out very clearly for us. I do appreciate that. And I think as far right. as, as I'm glad I cleared certainly it. from the reaction to the, certainly the reaction to our show last night, last week is keep up the pressure because.